Welcome Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo to your Why Do You Feel Such a Strong Connection tarot reading. This is for those wanting to explore an existing connection that you have with someone, whether you're single, coupled up, married, dating or courting. And this might just help you uh, gain some insight as to why you're so drawn to this person. Let's get straight into it with Taurus. Why do you feel such a strong connection, Taurus? Okay, the lover's card. For some of you, you have a soulmate or twin flame connection to someone that's coming in around you. Now, this person, they might be under the sign of a Gemini, which has been following Taurians for quite a while now, I must say. But look, it can also just indicate that this person is mirroring the same connection that you have for them. So there's an undeniable connection here. It could even be a past life connection here. But the two of you are coming together in a really beautiful way here because the lovers are open and honest and pure and their intentions are the same and they're being brought together by a higher power. So for some of you, there's a very divine connection to this person that you're feeling, Taurus. This person is mirroring exactly the person you're wanting to manifest. So I think there'd be a very strong compatibility between the two of you. A very strong physical attraction as well here. This person could be um, your type, in, definitely in terms of physical attributes, their physical looks, their mannerisms, um, their body type. I think there's a very strong connection here. But the Lovers card is all about manifestation of love. And this is a metaphysical connection. So you might share not only love, a love connection, but it is so spiritual and emotional at the same time that for a lot of you, you have a soulmate connection that's coming through here. So for those that are able to explore this connection, I would highly suggest you do so. This is really beautiful with the lovers card here. This is someone that's really going to, or really is, taking over your thoughts. This is someone who's really coming in and being the person you want them to be. Then you have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands could indicate there's a bit of reluctancy towards this connection. For some of you, it could be that you can't explore this connection further or you're scared to explore the connection further because you're afraid of what of the feelings that it might bring to us, or you're afraid it might tear you away from an existing connection with someone else, a relationship partner, a spouse, a lover, or someone you've been seeing. So I think that with the nine of ones, there's, there's an element of being a little bit capricious about this connection here. For some of you, it's a connection that is very irresistible and insatiable, but you know you can't go further with it. With the nine of wands for some there's a it, someone's guarded it could be you or it could be them also for those that are dealing with fire signs which have also been following you around Taurus this is coming up the nine of wands there could be a fire sign that's a little bit guarded um, and that has you feeling very intrigued or very drawn to them it could be fear of the unknown. For some of you, it's a connection that you haven't experienced before and it's very confronting and it's very open and it's real and it's there and you're a little bit fearful of it, but at the same time, you feel drawn to it. Okay, Ace of Wands, we have Fire again, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo that's come through here. This is the hand of God that's placed this person in your life because they could change your life. The Ace of Wands is all about action and movement and leading from the front. This person could lead you into a wonderful relationship. This person could lead you into change. This person could liberate your fears, liberate your perceptions of love. If you have been hurt or you have experienced pain or you haven't had the best experience in love or love connections. But this is a very strong physical connection here. So chemistry passion and sexuality with the Ace of Wands. But I think this person has been placed in your path for a reason, Taurus. This is beautiful. It's almost like they're being handed to you. There's potential there, but some of you can't, for whichever reasons, explore this connection further, or you're fearful to explore this connection further. Then you have the King of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. Emotionally, the two of you mirror each other's 
feelings, emotions, thoughts, and behaviors. So I think there's an emotional compatibility between the two of you here. Some of you just feel really strongly about this person and it's a little bit scary, Taurus. But the King of Cups indicates that this is a love connection. This is someone that you care for. This is someone that maybe you don't haven't known them for that long. Or maybe you're slowly starting to get to know them, but you're so slowly realizing how much you care for this person because emotionally you see they need caring, they want caring, and they desire the caring that you're able to give them. They're desiring that emotion. So I feel for some of you, there's a lot of emotional availability coming from this connection and something will form. There's a love relationship for you. For some of you, there's a connection you're experiencing with someone now that could be that there's this soulmate twin flame connection that could lead to marriage or a long lasting union here. Um, definitely someone you could fall in love with. That's beautiful. Let's have a look at the next sign, Capricorn. Why do you feel such a strong connection? Capricorn. Okay, the Seven of Cups. This is someone you've tried to manifest or that you've been asking the universe or the gods, the angels for. This is someone that ticks a lot of boxes for you. This is someone who is what you're asking for, what you're desiring, what you're hoping, wishing and wanting. And they're coming through. This connection is very... There's a bit of mystery around this connection, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of signs and synchronicities around this person that are drawing you closer to them. So my understanding, Capricorn, is that you might see an, um, angel numbers around this person. There might be synchronicities or signs, but I almost feel like things are falling into place with this connection. It just makes sense. It might come out of the blue. Maybe it's happened to you yet. Maybe it hasn't, but it'll start to piece together and... All the signs will point to that this person, this connection is for you and there's something you need to explore from it. But I also feel that for some of you, this person is the person you're wanting or you've been meaning to attract and they're coming through here. They're your, you know, they, they have the same goals as you. They have the house, they're established, they have the career, they have the talent. They're wanting the same things as you. They, they surprise you also. In a, in a really beautiful way. Okay, five of pentacles. You care about them, Capricorn. You see that they need guidance. You see that they need grounding. This connection is based on help and care and love. So they, you've got a soft spot for this person because in some way he, maybe it's conscious, maybe it's subconscious or subliminal, but in some way he, you feel like they need help. You feel like they need saving. You feel like they need guiding. Or maybe it's you, maybe it's you that feels that way and this person is the anchor, this person is grounding you, but the earth energy can represent you. can also represent if you are dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or a water sign here with the cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But with the five here, I feel as though for some of you, this person might be a little bit closed off and it has you feeling like you want to know more of them or you want to learn more about them or why they are the way they are or the burden they're carrying. I think for some of you, you feel that there's an emotional connection there and you want to explore this person and and what the, the, the heartache or the pain or something that they're carrying within them. Capricorn, you're noticing this. Wow. Okay, Ace of Cups, again, emotion, love, religious or spiritual connection with this person. You might share very strong religious beliefs with this person or spiritual beliefs with this person. I honestly think there's purity and emotion that is residual of this connection. So the reason why you're drawn to them is because there's emotion here. You feel like you emotionally want to save them or help them or nurture them or you feel like they want to do this to you. Again, water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But you feel like you want to do the saving, or maybe it's them that wants to do the saving. And there's nurturing that the two of you could 
give each other the emotion you've been shut out from before Capricorn. So if you have been left behind or you haven't ever received this type of emotion, this person is one that can offer you that. For some of you, there's an engagement or a commitment that's happening with this connection. So something will come of this connection, Capricorn. Um, it could possibly lead to something, a religious ceremony, a commitment, a milestone in this relationship. Absolutely. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, there's a cycle that you will embark on with this person. So this could speak of previous cycles. This may be an ex for some of you that's coming back and again you feel drawn to them because they keep coming back for a reason. For some of you, you'll end up with this person. Um, whether this is you've had a past relationship before or possibly a past life connection with this person, they're coming back in with this, with another cycle, so to speak. So maybe the first time around it wasn't that good. Maybe this speaks of past life. Maybe you've been shut out. There's been no closure. But the second time around or another cycle in this life that you'll embark on is the Wheel of Fortune. So it is a better cycle. It is a cycle that could lead to happiness, commitment, love, marriage with the Wheel of Fortune present. This is beautiful. This is fate. This is a faded connection. Could be life lessons, could be lessons that you have to learn, especially with the pentacles here. But I think they're being sent to you for a, a reason here. And I think it's worth exploring. If you can, it's definitely worth exploring this connection. Because it's the universe. It's something you've attracted. Again, this speaks of manifestation and law of attraction, Capricorn. So it's something you've attracted on some level here. Whether consciously or, or subconsciously. Let's have a look at Virgo now. Virgo, why are you attracted to this person? Why do you share this connection? Why do you feel so drawn to them? Okay, you've had a few cards fall out. Okay, the Six of Wands. You feel extremely happy. You feel like you're on a happy high when you're around this person with the six of wands you feel very noticed you feel desired you feel secure with this person this connection that you have here it's also idolatry you might really idolize this person have a lot of respect or place a lot of reverence in this person place a lot of faith but they're of good character so there's someone worth placing the faith and respect in and vice versa particularly if you're dealing with a fire sign here an Aries Sagittarius or Leo they're an anchor to you. They're someone you want to emulate. So there's, as much as there's idolatry in this person and respect, you know, it's a healthy respect and it's someone that really inspires you. There's inspiration here. I almost feel like this person lifts you up somehow, Virgo. From the depths of your own mind, they lift you up and they make you feel like a better person they make you want to be a better person or they their mannerisms the way they conduct themselves their beliefs their traditions their values their ethics are something that you're looking for there is success here there is a connection that will uh, prevail so if there's been a little bit of a hardship with a connection here virgo especially with a fire sign this is victory that's coming to you this is you on your high horse feeling extremely happy a lot of emotion here. This is beautiful. Complacency and happiness with the Nine of Pentacles also for those dealing with a fellow Earth sign, a fellow Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. This is freedom, liberation, happiness, gratitude. Physically, this is someone that ticks a lot of boxes for you. Looks wise, mannerisms, physical attributes, where they're at in their life, their success, their career, their ambition, their direction, what they have around them, the people that they have around them. Physically, they're very appealing for you. They're very grounded as well. They're very centered. There's stability around them. Again, this is something you're looking for, Virgo. They have a lot of reassurance about them, and this is why you're so attracted. This is why you're so drawn to them. You feel like, uh, and I think this person is, they're ready for something, Virgo. So for a lot of you, there's a relationship that's forming, especially with a fire and an earth sign, because they're ready. They're at that stage in their life where they're ready to welcome in commitment and be able to commit to that wholeheartedly. Page of Pentacles, more earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Again, this speaks of this person being able to offer you what you're wanting. This person is ready. 
there's a readiness to this person. There's a grounded, stable energy to them with the Page of Pentacles, especially with the Nine of Pentacles also. They're ready for commitment, ready for love. Again, you very, there's a very strong physical attraction here. Because this person is very open, they're like an open book, so you know where they're at. There's reassurance because you know there's security and stability around them. But again, this speaks of a more physical attraction. Okay, the Justice card, Libra has come up here, and Balance. This is a karmic connection. For a lot of you, it's, this connection is very much based on karma. But it's good karma because you're here to learn something from it. So you're here to learn because the six of six of ones is about conquest. And when you think of that word, you think about something that has led you led you to conquest. So there's the reason why you have a connection here, it's because it's karma. There's things that have happened in your love life, in your relationships, or in your partnerships and friendships that have led you to this person because Especially if things have happened that haven't been, you know, the most pleasant Virgo, that haven't been the most pleasant to endure. If you've encountered this, this person is coming in to relieve you of this stress and heartache or drama. So it's a very strong karma connection, but it's good karma. It's someone that's coming in to restore balance if you've previously had imbalance in love. Especially if it's a Libra. There's someone that's coming in upright. That's, it's someone that's coming in that's wanting the same thing as you, Virgo. And this is why you're so drawn to this person. Karmic energy. You're both on the same karmic wavelength. And you both have to learn beautiful karma off each other is what I'm seeing here. But I hope this reading hasn't been insightful for you, Earth Signs. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I hope this video has been enjoyable, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Thanks again for joining me. Bye for now.